Hi everyone, this is Dan Julian, nurse practitioner and medical director here at Third Avenue Spa. We're located in Ottawa. Today's video, a full demo and video tutorial on how I approach natural looking lips. The difference in this video is that I'm going to be using a cannula instead of just a syringe. I do fine tune it with a BD syringe afterwards in order to give that precision that we're looking for, but this is a way for you to not shy away from using a cannula. It's a great technique, it's very safe, and often enough it provides a very natural looking result. Stay tuned. Let's learn a few things. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to make my entry point within one centimeter of the oral commissure because I don't want to hit the facial artery. Now I'm going to take my cannula, it's 25 gauge, and to respect the golden ratio, I'm going to place my product within the width of the nose. So I usually do a retrograde fashion here, so I bring my cannula to basically the cupid's bow, then I place 0.2 cc's per quadrant. Now the depth is really important here. Going too deep you're going to lose the product, and too superficially you're going to see the product. So you want to be in a subcutaneous plane. Basically, you don't want to see the color of the cannula, but you want to be just a bit deeper than that. Here I'm starting the other side, again within one centimeter of the oral commissure, take my cannula, and I do the exact same thing. Now it's expected to have some resistance whenever you're doing the cannula, and that's because you hit some septi. So the trick is, instead of just forcing the cannula through, is I pinch the lips here with my index and my thumb, and I kind of guide the cannula through. It's, it makes it a lot easier on the client and yourself. Then once I'm finished, just like the other side, I massage some lumps and bumps just to smooth everything out. Now the beauty of this technique is I still use the same entry point for the lower lip. Again, I'm pinching both sides of the lip to guide the cannula through because I am hitting some septi there, and I'm aiming for the lower pillow, which is in line with the golden ratio. And as usual, I tend to place a product in a retrograde fashion. Massage everything out, make sure it looks great. Now we go to the last quadrant, again to the same entry point, and I'm going to try and guide my cannula to the last pillow. I'm likely going to get a little bit of resistance, so I use my index and my thumb, and I guide the cannula through. I don't want to force anything, I don't want to cause any additional trauma. I'm at the right plane, confirm I'm there with my thumb, placing another 0.2 cc's in that quadrant for a total of 0.8 cc's. For the final touches, I transfer the filler to a BD syringe. This allows me to sharpen the cupid's bow and touch up any asymmetries. Now you might notice that the client doesn't even flinch whenever I touch her with the needle. And the reason why is because I've asked her to place numbing cream on about 20 minutes to 30 minutes before doing the procedure. And then most fillers nowadays have lidocaine in the filler itself. So going in with a cannula, adding filler with lidocaine, in combination with the numbing cream, really makes these final touches virtually painless. Now, as I'm tidying up the last final touches, you may notice that her lips haven't dramatically changed, even though I've used a full syringe, and that's because I'm using a pretty fine filler here. But you can absolutely use the same technique using a more volumizing filler. She just wants something to plump her lip up a little bit to increase her kissability factor while keeping her lips natural, beautiful, and luscious. The line I'm drawing here represents the wet dry border. 97% of the time your artery lies just underneath it, but there's still that 3% margin. So place your product up here, never down there, and you might want to consider a cannula. Stay safe. You may have noticed that I didn't touch her filtrum columns and I didn't kick up the corners of her mouth. And the reason why is because she didn't need it. Not all clients need these touches. She's young enough that she still has a full filtrum column and at the same time, she has a nice natural upturn to the mouth. If someone were to come in in their 40s or a little bit more mature, then absolutely, you should touch these things up just to tie it in nicely. Otherwise, remember, there are other measurements that you have to look at. The upper lip needs to be forwardly projecting by about two millimeters and if you're looking at other measurements that are important, I do have another video you can refer to. Otherwise, I still use a BD syringe for complete lip rejuvenation at certain points, but it really depends on what the client's looking for and what I'm looking for. 
If I'm looking for something completely natural, I usually go with a cannula. If I'm looking for something with a little bit more flip or more plumpness or just a little bit more pizzazz, then I'll probably use a BD syringe. But it's a little riskier and at the same time there's going to be a little bit more bruising and it's a little more tender. Regardless, we make this decision together with myself and the client and so should you. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and be nice to absolutely everyone. Take care, guys. So this is a cool little technique on how to fill a BD syringe with filler. I've got 0.2 left. Uh, what's nice about these BD syringes is that every time you fill them, they always give you about 0 0.15, 0 0.2. So even if you get a couple air bubbles, I'm actually gonna see if I can make some air bubbles intentionally, but you'll notice that whenever I put the plunger back in, it always fully corrects itself all the air bubbles pushed itself way to the top. So I'm gonna take this out. So here, we're going to take this, put it in, go right to the end. So I'm close up on here. We're going to start filling. And I'll see if I can get some air bubbles in here. May not work. Oh, the camera's off. Oh, we do have couple of air bubbles there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's a couple little air bubbles in there. And I'm going to use this plunger and watch the bubbles. They just always come right to the top. Sound good.